Hey everyone and welcome to 20 Questions. This week I'm joined by defender Ollie Tipton. Tippo, thanks for joining me. No problem. Perfect. We'll get started with it straight away. Yeah. Um, how are you finding the season so far? Obviously you came in in the summer, um, joined us in the pre-season camp at Aberystwyth and then, you know, back in the thick of it playing games. How are you finding it? Yeah, it's been really good. Um, I think I've settled in well. Lads have really helped with that as well. Um, so performances are starting to turn out now, so hopefully we can kick on and get some points in the ward and yeah. It's been really good. Yeah, what's the atmosphere like in the changing room? Yeah, it's it's been good from day one, to be fair. I think we know the ability we've got, so I think it's all starting to come together and, you know, as it starts to come together, there'll be better atmosphere going on. So, yeah. Nice. And obviously, you know, you've bonded with the lads over summer and the season. If you're stranded on a desert island, which three players are you choosing to be stranded with you? I've got to go for a bit of brains because I don't think I'm the most brainy, <laughs> to be honest. So I'm going to go with John Boster. Very wise man to the first of him. Yeah. So I have a bit of banter while you're out there, so I'm probably going to take Brad Stevenson. He's yeah. A good crack to fair. And another wise one, I think I'm going to go with Labs. Yeah. Labs will know the ins and outs, so he's going to help as well. So you're confident of surviving them, yeah. them luck? Confident, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then obviously, you just play a game on a Saturday. Yeah. We're at home. You know, you're deciding what to eat. What's your go to post match strand? To be fair, I struggle to eat after games, not much of an appetite, but. I'm going to say a pizza, just maybe get the carbs back inside of you and stuff yeah. like that. So, yeah, probably going to have a pizza. Quite, uh, quite boring, even the margaritas were served. So really? Boring, yeah. Stuffed crust? Yeah, yeah, we'll go with that. Push the boat out a bit. <laughs> nice. And then, obviously, you've been at Wolves in the academy and you went on loan at Notts County. Yeah. And, obviously, in the dressing room here, who's the funniest teammate you shared a dressing room with? To be honest, it's, it's a bit of a no-brainer. Um, Toby, we actually playing against him tomorrow. Yeah. Had a bow rowling from Notts. One of the funniest characters I've ever met, just like... Just really good crack, just funny, yeah. really funny. It'll be good yeah. to see him again tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, he will be, yeah. Nice. And then, obviously, you're chilling in the week. You come home, watch some TV. What's your go-to TV programme? At the minute, I'm watching Power. So, I, I started it uh, ages ago and didn't get to finish it. So, now, I've watched the first season already, but now I'm starting it again and going through it again. And yeah. I'm really getting into it, to be fair. So, nice. Bit of an old one, but yeah. Fair play. And... A lot of the players, there's a big debate about this. Yeah. Who is the worst dressed in the team? I think the boys are going with Pino because he's lively. Do you know what I mean? Mm. I, still, I haven't really yet to see it because we haven't been outside the change rooms yet. So I, I haven't really seen it clearly. Yeah. I'm going to go with Gailey. I'm, yeah. I'm going to throw it off a bit and I'm going to go with Gailey. I just think, yeah, not my style, to be fair. What's he sort of going with? Just like cargoes and that are a bit too big. I, I'm just, I'm just not feeling it. Just, I'm just not feeling it. Yeah. But I can see why people are saying Pino. By the way, Finn's lucky he hasn't got a mention as well. <laughs> Cox, because honestly. Yeah. Um, so obviously, you're on a night out. What's your go-to choice of drink? Um, I would probably say vodka, lime and lemon. I'd probably yeah. say, yeah. I just think it goes down quite well. Nice low calorie yeah, as well. Like low calories goes down quite well. I can force a beer down me, but... I think I've got immature taste, which I don't think I've got that level yet. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, obviously, you know, when it's the off-season, yeah. everyone goes away. Yeah. What's your go-to holiday destination? Um, my go-to holiday destination is tough. Depends what I'm going for. If I'm going for a chilled one, stuff like that, mm. I like the look of Dubai. But I think if I'm going, like, for a party or a bit more a bit more than a chill, maybe I'd be, if I think it's got a bit of everything, nice restaurants, yeah. uh, beach clubs. And the old town's really nice where you can obviously chill as well. So, yeah. Nice. And then, obviously, sort of some people might include traveling in this sort of next question. Yeah. What is something you want to tick on your bucket list? Um, Thailand. A lot of my mates have been um, who, who don't have play football. So they kind of go on holiday whenever they want. So yeah. they've been to Thailand and they say it's unbelievable. So I've done quite a few countries like China, Japan. I've uh, been to both of them. I've been to India as well. So I've done quite a lot, to be fair. Yeah. But if... Thailand probably the next that I would want to go see. Nice. And then this question, I think, with Wolves under 21s, you're going to have played against a lot yeah. of players who are in the Premier League, you know, getting Ballon d'Or nominations. Yeah. Who's the best player you've played against? I would probably say Cole Palmer. Yeah. Like, just like, he's just a joke, to be honest. <laughs> Nothing else to say. He is a joke. Was he like that back then? Yeah, he was. We played against him under, under 18s level. I played against him at Man City and we lost the game three one on the day and he scored two yeah and then you can just tell somebody's got it like yeah he's yeah. got it nice and then any sort of match day rituals going into a game no not really i like to keep it as simple as possible just 
get your stuff on and go out when you need to go out, try and yeah. stay as chilled as possible and just relax and ease easy way into stuff. So, yeah. Yeah. And then everyone, you know, you get your first pair of football boots, yeah. sticks in your mind, either some decos yeah, or yeah. couple of the hours. Yeah, yeah. What are your first set of pair of football boots? Mine were pred with the elastic over the top and they were white and a black colour. I never forget a lot of colour. Yeah, never forget them again. Had them for a while, and then I remember them ripping and like cried my eyes to my dad to rip them. Oh, I think yeah, it's always heartbreaking when you're ready for those boots. What is your morning routine before training? Um, so obviously we come in. I try to get in around quarter to nine. Um, go in, get changed to eat. Yeah. Come to the gym, do a bit of prehab, and then you're around the pitch really. If you've got anything you need to do specific or very visit or something like that you'll get on with that yeah. um, if you've got a bit of spare time i'll play two games of four maybe it's dodgy players in there me included but yeah <laughs> so no yeah right and then this question massively trending in the uk right now right. after yeah. international break who is the best barclays man oh, there's a few and i've seen a few i'm gonna go with aaron lennon that's what i'm gonna go with yeah. i always remember watching him as a kid thinking he's quick you know what I mean? So I'm probably going to go with him because it's easy to say the Ronaldo and stuff like that. Do you yeah. know what I mean? But yeah, I'm going to go with Aaron Lennon. Nice. And then sort of sticking with that, but who is the greatest player in world football, in your opinion? I think it's, it's a hard debate and I think it's always going to be a debate, but I do think Messi is the best. I just think you watch him, I just think he's a genius. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Like an absolute genius. Some of the stuff he does and you gobsmacked of how he's done it. Yeah. Obviously, there's unbelievable players out there, but yeah, I'm going to go with Messi. So, Team Messi over Ronaldo. Yeah, yeah. I am Team Messi. Yeah. Fair play, yeah. fair play. And then, obviously, you're from the black country, are yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. So, does that mean you're a, a Wolves fan? Yeah, I am a Wolves fan, yeah. I've been yeah. a Wolves fan for a very, very long time. Yeah. Um, my dad got me a season when I was young, and yeah, I've been yeah. a Wolves fan ever since, really. Nice. And was that your first ever football kit then? No, it wasn't. It was a Man United one, actually. Really? Yeah, Glory Hunter. Wow. I remember we had Ollie on the rack, so it was yeah. a Man United kit, the red one, yeah. Now, fair play. Yeah. Um, and then, who's your favourite sporting icon, like basketball, NFL, anything sort of like that? My favourite sporting icon? I'd say mentality-wise, is like reading, like, interviews and stuff like that, it has to be Ronaldo. I think yeah. He's just, he just always talks about being the best, the best the best possible way of him. Mm. Um, so yeah, I'd probably go with Ronaldo. Just his mentality, his drive every day, yeah. the shape he's in, that's still at his age. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nine hundred and one career goals yeah, or something like that. Ridiculous. Mental. Um, Relentless. This question as well, I think, if you're a defender as well, it's sort of debatable. Yeah. Would you rather score a last minute winner, <laughs> or make a goal line clearance in the dire moments of the game to secure the three points? I'd bad be saying goal score. You know, I'd bad be saying that. But yeah. You know, I'm gonna go with a goal line clearance. I have to. I'm a defender, so it's yeah. my nature, I guess. Nice. And then. The final question, if you weren't a footballer, what would you be? To be honest, I've never, I'm not the most brainy, so I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, yeah. I'd probably say I'd want to stay in football, so maybe an agent, a coach, uh, you know, something like that. I don't think I'd be a manager. I think I'd be like in the backroom staff or something like that. Um, so, yeah. Would you ever sort of take your C licence and take steps to get there? Yeah, I would do, yeah, eventually. But, you know, I'm still quite young, so I can focus on the playing first and then hopefully the rest comes with it. Brilliant. Well, Tippo, thanks Cheers, for joining, Mike. Cheers. Good luck. Cheers, See you later. You. There we go.